Flower and welcome. My name is Miss Multi Console and welcome back to Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch. We are at the end of the Miasma Marshes. We are just going to go forward to finally face Shadar. We found out a very sad truth in the last episode that Oliver is indeed never going to rescue his mum. She is forever lost and we can never save her so that was quite an emotional part of the story that was quite sad but Oliver has a lot of courage he's gonna step up he's gonna just gonna continue what he's doing because he wants to save this world let's see what happens here oh here it comes the evil Shadar's castle this is gonna be exciting oh, I love the way it looks it looks so cool it looks so demonic oh my god we got a cutscene it's been ages we just don't get enough of these cutscenes. There he is. Alright. We're going into Shadar's castle. Look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. Doesn't that look fantastic? That looks so cool. I love the way that's designed and everything. Alright, I'm going to save it before we head in. Because, of course, we need to. I'm thinking I should save it on a separate save file here. Just in case something terrible happens. You never know. You never know. Right, there we go. The Dark Jinn's castle. Let's do this, guys. Let's take down Shadar once and for all. This guy has blighted this land for long enough. He needs to die. He needs to go down. He's been torturing the poorest people in this world for far too long. All right, here we go. Open sesame! At least it's not like Dragon Quest and there's a stupid barrier to get past to get into the building. <laughs> Gah, you're so close, but there's a barrier! <laughs> Trust me mad. All right, here we go. Oh, look at these statues and everything. This looks so cool inside here. Oh, we've got enemies. We've got enemies. That looks like a bone brigadier, brigade, brigade or something. I've got one of them. Brigadiers. We That's what this. they're called. And we have an eldritch empress. I'm thinking we should probably take out the empress first. I'm wondering if my levels are high enough for this. I have no idea. Honestly, no clue. Well, I did a bit of damage there. It's just that I am taking a lot of damage from monsters lately. I'm wondering if we can do this. I have hope. See, that's why I wanted to take that stupid monster out first. Just because of the sheer damage. And like she got, she's got that insta kill move that that stupid thing does, and that's why I wanted to kill her. I might have to take a trip out of here at some point as well. I'm not entirely sure that I might run out of supplies like halfway through or something because I don't have a massive um, supply right now. But it should see us through for some time, so hopefully it will see us through. I will just have to see. Oh god, now Swain's died. This is what happens with that stupid insta kill enemy i really hate that and i don't even know if there's any way to get rid of that either it's so goddamn annoying look i've used the two phoenix downs already this is just the first battle how annoying is that all right come on provisions let's use a sandwich on oliver because i don't like the way his health is i don't like the way that's looking right now okay and on swain here we go struggling on the first battle not a good sign is it <laughs> We might be okay. We might be okay. Just gonna switch switch out to Oliver. Let's use a healing touch. I prefer to use Oliver to heal. I don't really like using Esther to heal with for some weird reason. I don't know why. I just don't. Anyway, um, we need to kill the this en Empress. We really need to get rid of this foul familiar. There we go. It's down. Thank God for that, Esther. I want you to capture it. Let's capture it because I definitely don't have that familiar. And you always want to collect as many familiars as you possibly can. I think it's a really nice looking familiar as well, actually. I would happily use that. I wonder if it has those insta-kill abilities that you can use. I wonder if I use that familiar, I can use that. Because it's such a pain, that move is such a pain in the butt. Alright, let me try this one because that one's not very effective. That one's a bit better, I suppose. Use my buzz familiar. I don't really like this familiar actually, I probably should have changed it out, but I can't be bothered to level another one all over again at this point of in the game. Like we're kind of close to the end. I think we've still got a few hours left, probably. But we will see, just don't really see the point, but hey. Right, let's use a whirly gig. Let's do some damage. Come on, Buzz, you got this. We nearly got one of these down. We nearly got this down. Alright, I need to do some heals here, healing touch, here we go, 
All right, nice. Let's go with. Let's try Mighty again. See if we can get this guy down. I know he's not. He's not very effective against these guys, but he's actually doing more damage than the Buzz was doing. Even though Mighty is not effective against these stupid Bone brigade Brigadiers, so that's a bit lame. Never mind. We'll get there. We'll get there, guys. We'll do this. There we go. I think I've already got one of those, though, haven't I? Hasn't Swain got one of those? Yes, I've got one of those here, so I don't really need to capture another one. Let's just take it down. Go! Bone Brigadi Brigadier killed by Bone Brigadier. <laughs> Yay, we did it. We did our first battle in this demonic area. Loads of levels, bit of money. All right, let's see how far we can get in here. I'm going to go as far as I possibly can. Might need to backtrack for some supplies, but... We'll be okay. Elena, I like the name. I like the name. Let's keep going then. Oh, hang on. The pathway kind of splits here. There's like loads of different ways to go. What's down here? Oh, I found like an orb thing. What's this? Oh, ho, ho. I wonder what this does. Maybe it opens the door. Maybe it's some kind of puzzle. Ah, it makes um, a staircase appear. Maybe it's like darkness or something, so you can't see it because it's like enveloped in darkness and maybe these light the way. Anyone else hear a rumbling? There's something whirring into action, sounds like. What does Drippy say anyway? Why do you reckon it's called Nevermore? I reckon it's because there's never been anywhere more dreary. Proper miserable it is. <laughs> yeah, it really is miserable and dreary and demonic, but it is the final area. It wouldn't be very fitting if it was all bunches and roses and it looked colourful and inviting. <laughs> I guess it would lead you into a false sense of security though, I suppose. Okay, let's do this. We got some familiars to fight here. The question is, what should we fight first? I'm thinking we should fight the boogeyman first because he's a dark type and I don't like dark types because they have horrible spells and I just don't like them. <laughs> so I'm going to try taking that one out first. Give me some nice mana there. I just found a big juicy mana glim for me to munch on. So that made Oliver happy because now he can heal. Oh god, let's give Esther some mana, I mean health. There we go. Let's grab that as well. Let's now go for the turn key, maybe. I don't know what abilities the turn key has. Sharpener. I guess that would be an attack boosting familiar. So it probably is a good idea to get rid of that one first. And now the bone thing. I think this does quite a bit of damage. Good tanking um, familiar, that one, but... Let's take it down now. There we go. It's not too bad now. It was just the first one we did. And I'm pretty sure that was just because we had that stupid Elderich, stupid queen lady familiar thing. She does those insta-kill moves. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason I was struggling. Okay, so spring lock on this chest. Let's open this up, see what goodies inside. Vial of Sage's Secret. That's really good. I think that's a quite... I think that's quite a strong healing item, so we'll definitely keep that. Looks like we've got another monster up here. Here we go, let's do another battle. I need to make sure I get XP, because I did miss a few monsters in the last area, so probably would be a good idea to make sure we do this. we got Zombos. we got a Mage Zombie in here. Let's kill the Mage Zombie, because that doesn't sound good to me. Go guys, go guys, kill the zombie. I'm thinking that Steam Man, there might be a, um, a quest to catch that guy so I hope that we can do that oh I just lost Esther damn it all right let me just do oh tidy tears good timing good timing for Swain anyway shame you let Esther die drippy you should have been there for Esther how could you <laughs> that's quite a nice health boost though I won't say no to that of course all right, let's get back on attacking these monsters. Nope, you want to kill the zombo because he's already, you know, almost there. I'm going to kill this and then hopefully I will have enough time to kill it and then I'll heal after. All right, now do a heal on yourself. Awesome. What did you just do to me? I don't know, but it can't be anything good. Let's give Swain a little heal there as well. No, my glim. How dare you try and get my glim? That was my glim. It had my name on it, not yours. <laughs> Let's get rid of this turnkey because I don't like the buffs that he uses. I'm just going to leave Esther dead because, you know, I don't want to use up all my Phoenix Feathers and she'll come back after the match is done, after we've killed the familiars. 
so we should be good to do this with just Oliver and Swain. I think we'll be okay. Just do a bit of healing and stuff and we'll be all good. All right, let's kill this turnkey old granddad familiar. All right, do a little heal to Swain and I should probably do one to myself as well. I always use weak healing spells, by the way, because they cost so little mana and because the healing hand takes absolutely forever to cast. Although it does heal and heal everybody, it heals people to full health. By the time it like casts, the person's usually already dead. So <laughs> it's kind of unhelpful in that way. So I like using I like using the weak healing spell. All right, go 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 go. Let's tell Swain to attack with all his might. Go 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 go. Yeah, it is true actually. Mighty is taking damage for some weird reason. I wonder if there's an item that I've got on that's doing that because somebody mentioned in the comments that mighty is actually taking damage and yeah i didn't actually notice it before but i think you're actually right so i'm gonna have to check that out because maybe he's got like a cursed item or something i have no idea very strange it's, i've only just noticed it does see gunther doesn't do it it's very strange i'm gonna have to check that out really odd let's check what that is all right now that that battle's done that's good Mighty reach level 31. I reckon this is a pretty good place to grind levels. Snow blower. Razor like snowflakes tear the flesh of nearby enemies. Oh god. Right, what should we do? He's got water spells as well. Interesting. Okay, so he's got fire and water spells. I'm just going to do get rid of that one because I never use that one anyway. Okay, so I am just going to restore Esther. There we go. Maybe we should use... I'm going to give Esther a bit of mana as well. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Okay, so I want to check out... Just a sec. I'm just going to heal the rest of Oliver's health and that. Okay, yeah, I want to check out um, this character quickly. Damages the wielder as well as the enemy. That would be why, because we are using a knight's blade. What else have I got that I could possibly use? Because... It's not great, is it? I'll give him the sacred dagger as well. It's not as much attack, but it increases his um, accuracy and stuff. Magical attack. I don't even know if this use ma uses magical attacks attack, but it will stop that minor little damage that we've been taking. I didn't even notice. I didn't even read. I literally just put recommended items and armor on, so it must have automatically just put that on, and I didn't read it. So <laughs> that is why. All right, I'm just going to finish these familiars off because. We're going to be here all night doing battles otherwise, and I really want to progress in this area. I seem to be losing Esther on a daily basis. Like, every single fight, Esther just keeps dying. I don't know what's wrong with her. Stay alive, Esther. I've nearly run out of mana on Oliver as well. But making some good progress, I think. I've explored the first little section. All right, let's go and move over to this side. Hopefully, we will find another orb and we'll uncover a new staircase. All right, here we go. Here's another one of these things. No monsters on this side either. No familiars on this side of the floor, which is cool. I wonder how big this castle is going to be. It looks quite big from the outside, but I have no idea what the inside is going to be like. Do you reckon that's made another set of stairs then most likely i reckon probably so that's probably yeah i think we can now enter so what i'm going to do is i'm quickly going to run back i'm going to use veil real quick i'm going to run back and i'm going to grab some more mana because i'm really low and you know saves me using mana items and stuff and i'm really stingy with using my items hey look there's a devil i've not seen that familiar yet yeah we will go into the entrance in a second. Okay, here we go. My veil is just about to run out as well, but everybody is full health and we're all, we're raring to go. We are ready to go inside Castle Never, Nevermore for real this time. All right, are we finally inside the area? Lucky timing as well. Like my veil just ran out, which is good. Okay, here we go. Because obviously we don't want to avoid all of the battles. Whoa, this is weird. It's like sideways. That's really strange. I feel like I'm going to tip over. It's making me feel dizzy. It's making me nauseous okay can we go down this side oh wow this is so strange right um 
I'm actually going to go up first actually. Let's go back towards the screen and go up this way. It's really hard to control as well because <laughs> the camera angle is so weird in this area here. Alright, let's see. Hopefully there'll be like some kind of chest up here. It's like upside down. What's going on? This is so strange. I can barely see what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I found the way that leads to a chest at least. There's so many different familiars in here. It it's nothing. like every battle has new familiars. It's actually pretty cool. So what should I go for first? Let's go for the Ghost Whisperer first. I want to attack the Ghost Whisperer first. See if we can take it out Take it out pretty quickly. We will see. For oh no, it's that Phantasmia. That's what we got to kill first because she just did insta-kill on Oliver. I really wish there was something to stop that from happening. It's really irritating. Okay, got some health there. Let's go back to Oliver because I like using Oliver the most. He is the easiest to use and I just like using him. Okay, heal Swain. I think Swain's been stopped from using attacks from what I can see. Not entirely 100% sure though. I think he needs a Nyx to get rid of that. Oh, it's gone off itself. Okay, that's good. All right, let's do some healing. We need healing going on here. Oh, thunderstorm. That's not good. How much damage is that going to do then? Okay, that did a little bit. Oh god, Swain's down. I'm getting so many deaths. I'm sure I'm underleveled. I'm probably underleveled, to be honest with you. <laughs> we'll see how far we can get though. Come on, Mr. Drippy. You got this. You got this, Mr. Drippy. Give us some life. Give us some life. I'm thinking we need all the characters we can get right now. There's so many Phoenix Feathers already. It's not great. It's not great. Okay. Let's revive Swain. Come on, Swain. We need you. Give him some health. There we go. Oh, no. Is that poison? No, that's... um. Okay, she's just been kind of like blinded. Okay, that makes sense. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to attack this one because she has some nasty spells. This... Phantasmia lady. Okay, let me see how much damage Mighty does on her. So I'm not entirely sure. Mighty does the rubbish damage now that I've changed out his weapon. I'm thinking I might actually keep that weapon on him because I'm doing absolutely rubbish damage now. Okay, this one's a little bit better. Gunther's doing a bit better than Mighty was doing at least. Come on, come on, one more hit. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, that one is down. Okay, awesome. Ah, thunderstorm. Somebody might die from that because... Uh, somebody was really low. It was Esther. Oh no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to heal Esther. Come on. There we go. Okay, good, good, good. All right, I need to do a heal for Swain as well. God, running out of mana again. Okay, let's... Ah, uh, Esther's down again. Esther's constantly dying. What is wrong with her? I just do not know. Oh, that was a big mana glim. That was a very nice mana glim, i got to say. That was good. We might be able to do it without her. We might be able to do it that's without her. Maybe Swain will be able to finish them off as well. All right, I'm going to attack this hoggle boggle dude. Come on, dudes, let's kill this thing. There we go. All right, let's try and use Gunther. See if we can finish this ghost whisperer off. Oh, the mana, the mana, the mana. I need the mana. All right, I think Swain just gave me a heal, which was nice. Oh, look at that big massive. Oh, that was a nice amount of health. Thank you. Thank you, Swain. Thank you. Have you got any more mana? Give me a little bit more of a heal. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. It's nice to see Swain actually healing for a change. <laughs> it's normally me or Esther. So that's nice to see. We got past it anyway. So that's the main thing. All right, let's do some healing here. I'm sure we'll manage. I do feel a little bit anxious. I'm not going to lie, as you can probably tell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get this chest. A dragon lance. I wonder who can equip that one. No, we don't want to equip Nightblade on that. Who can use lances? This one here. Awesome. Okay. I wonder if there's any more. Probably like because I've missed like loads of side quests as well. There's still loads of those to do and I haven't quite finished them. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Let's see if I can kind of find my way back. Oh, it's so weird to control this. Okay, go all of us, stop walking into walls. We got this, we got this. Okay, down, uh, down this pathway. Come on, come on. <laughs> you got this. Okay, it looks like we can also go down here. Kind of confused. No, hang on. We're supposed to go down this side now. We went down the other side, so now we're going down this side. Well, it's a bit easier to control 
on this side so far. Hold on, do we go left or right or upwards? Oh my god, there's so many pathways. Let's try going this way first. Let's see where this leads. More chests. Yeah, we got to plunder all the chests. Shield of the pure. Awesome. What is down the opposite side? Absolutely nothing. Okay. I wonder who can equip this shield. Let me see. Yes. Shield of pure will give to you mighty. There we go. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to keep that night blade on mighty for now because I want the extra damage. We'll see how this goes though. If it's too much, then I'll end up taking it off most likely. Have I been up that way? No, I haven't. Let's go down this... Actually, no. Let's go down the middle way first because that that m might be the way to go. I'm not entirely sure. Yes, this is just leads to a chest. Let's get the chest then. Here we go. It's so dark around here, isn't it? So dark. What does Griffin's teeth do? Let me see. This person doesn't have... Oh, how where do you equip it? I thought it was a, an accessory. I guess not. There it is. Griffin's teeth. Gives a little bit more attack, I believe. Okay, cool. Don't think there's any more chests down there. Okay, let's carry on up this way. This should be the way to go then. This should be the way to proceed. This is so spinny. It's spinning me out. What is going on here? <laughs> it's so strange. Okay, another chest. Awesome. What have we got? A bottle of Nordstrom. I wonder what that does. I have no clue. Okay, where are we now? I can see some more enemies in here. So we're supposed to go down. Let's go downwards then. Oh god, I absolutely hate these familiars. I hate facing these guys. <laughs> I'll see if I can defeat them though. We fought these ones before. Alright, another battle down. This time it wasn't Esther that died. It was Swain. I ended up using a few Phoenix Downs on that one. I mean, Phoenix Feathers, I keep saying that. <laughs> Stupid Final Fantasy. Um, Because those were obviously... Familiars that could use insta-kill abilities, so I inevitably had people dying in that one. I knew that was gonna happen, to be honest with you. Okay, that looks intimidating. <laughs> Let's go down the other way, so I'm sure we'll find some goodies down the other side as well. Oh, I got a wolf dog looking familiar to fight. Some different kinds of familiars here. Right, first of all, we want to attack this one and take this one out as soon as we can because this phantasma has insta-kill stuff. So we definitely need to get rid of that one as soon as possible. Oh no, Esther, don't die. Don't die on me, Esther, like you always do. <laughs> God damn you. Okay, let me heal Swain. I am the healer of the day. I'm always healing, actually. I'm always healing. I don't trust the NPCs to heal, so I always do it for them. Somebody is going to die soon, though, if I don't hurry up and get rid of that Phantasma. You really need to get rid of that, guys. You really need to. A shame I can't tell them which mob to attack. All right, let's do some attacking because I want to get rid of it. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Die, die. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, there it goes. That's the insta-kill move right there. I don't know if she got it off on me. I actually think I evaded it somehow. So that was lucky. Luckily, I somehow evaded my doom. So that was good. All right, kill that stupid phantasmia. Go, go, go. Murder it. Oh, God, I'm going to get murdered in a second if I'm not careful. Go, guys, go. Why do you kill everything but the one I want you to kill? <laughs> stupid monsters. All right, go, go, go. Finish it off, finish it off. No, what are you doing? Go for that one. Go for that one. Kill it, kill it, kill her. Yes, finally. Whew, that uh, makes me feel less stressed. Thank God for that. All right, go on, one more hit. Yes, awesome. Just got through on the skin of my teeth. Just getting through these battles. That didn't give much XP at all, really, did it? That's a shame. Okay, that's that done definitely see the um, increase in difficulty with these monsters. Let's go explore up here then because there might be some goodies for us to get. An absolute dead end. Lovely jubbly. What a waste of time. <laughs> wow. I was really expecting something more out of that, but okay. You know what? 
just for a second I'm just going to use Veil vale because the mana is looking very low and I'm curious to see if there's there might be like a save point up here or something just kind of curious to see I've been fighting a lot of battles anyway so let's just have a little snoop about see if we can find something let's go through this door here what is through here ah a chest lovely lovely jubbly right spring oh no not that one ah I didn't mean to use that one <laughs> oops nearby chests are now visible um spring lock i didn't actually mean to use that that move at all okay all be gone awesome okay let's keep going through this way um what is down here there's a way down there what's through this door here then i think this is an alternative route oh interesting okay is this a dead end though this is actually a dead end. There's actually oh, nothing up there. He nearly saw me. He smelt me. <laughs> it's like I smell something human. What is that? I smell something human. Where do we go? Down this way, apparently. Let's see what's down here. Ah, another one of these orb things. Awesome. Let's light this one up. I'm probably going to do a bit of grinding in this area, actually. It's probably going to be a good idea, too. <laughs> Alright, look at that winding staircase. Awesome. I wonder how close we are now. Something tells me there's a new set of stairs somewhere around by here. We'd best have a look, isn't it? Of course, we had. Okay, we still have Veil on, but for some reason we've lost the animation of it. For some weird reason. It's still there though. As you can see, I'm not getting spotted by enemies. It's just about to wear out though. There we go. It's, war it's worn off now. Okay, so spring lock on this chest. I'm really low on mana here. Okay, a radiant blade. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Veil, you will never see me. You saw nothing. I am not here. You saw absolutely nothing, okay? Nada. Okay, there's another chest there. Great Sage's Secret. Right, so... I got a new blade, didn't I? I wanted to see this new blade. Right, it doesn't... Not sure if it's better. Apparently it's better than the Night Blade. And it restores life instead of depleting my life when I attack enemies this time. So that's even better. Thank God for that. Okay, this might be the last orb of the area, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see. It's like right at the end. Don't even know where you go now. Where do we go from here? Ah, interesting. Okay, more steps leading to more dark hallways. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> Let's go then. I wonder where the stairs have appeared this time. Let's have a good nose around, shall we? That sounds like a good idea. Okay, so where does it say for us to go? I think it's in the middle, isn't it? in the middle of the area or something apparently i've still got veil on still but again it's not showing the oh damn i accidentally walked into that <laughs> oh my god Watch this. i've got like no mana or anything left either it's probably not a good idea Come i'm just on. gonna run away from this one because i literally have no mana or anything at all so i think this would probably be a good idea to stop for now i'm gonna cast vacate I'm going to go to the beginning of this area. I'm going to save it, restore my life, and I'm going to stop the episode here for now. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and I hope I'll see you next time.